Welcome back to Mornings with Dave King and Matt Martin. We are going to get right to the phones. we got the car pro, Jerry Reynolds, on the line. Uh, Jerry, how are you doing this week? Trying not to get blown away like you guys, I'm sure. Yeah, you don't have the blowing dust like we have, though. No, just <laughs> just the wind. Boy, you are riding rich this week. <laughs> hey, would, would you let me come just ride ride along with you one day? Maybe Sure. When, next time you have a like a $300,000, whatever it is, just let me come ride with you for a day. I mean, I'd love that. <laughs> come on. That'd be great. Yeah, I'm riding in style this week. I've got uh, a very unusual SUV. It's called a the BMW Alpina XB7. And what the, the thing about Alpina is they are a separate company from BMW. Um, I think a lot of people know about the relationship between Mercedes-Benz and AMG. And AMG owns uh, is owned by Mercedes-Benz, but Alpina, with their relationship with BMW, they're separate companies. So what they do, kind of like is a Roush or something like that. Yeah, yeah, similar. They take uh, regular vehicles and turn them into hot rods, and that's what they've done with the BMW X7, which is the largest uh, BMW SUV that they build. It's got three rows of seating. And so what they've done is they've gone in and handmade an engine for this vehicle with 612 horses. I guess it's a V8. Yeah, it's a V8 with twin turbos. Uh, 612, 612 horses, 590 foot-pound of torque, 180 mile-an-hour top speed. And <clears throat> when you think about that in this 6,000-pound SUV, Man, that is that is getting after it. They yeah. also do a lot of interior upgrades. They change out the wheels. This thing's got 23-inch wheels, which is a first for me. Um, 22s are pretty common today, but I haven't I haven't been in a car with 23-inch wheels. How do you get tires it's, for it? Uh, <clears throat> I imagine you'd probably have to order them. I doubt anybody would stock them. Uh, you know, like a local discount tire or anything like that, but just a, a, a stunning SUV as far as exterior looks, interior looks, and performance. Uh, the sound in, in this thing is just amazing. It's got two DVD screens attached to the front seats for the rear seat passenger. It's got some neat amenities. It's got a big panoramic uh, sunroof in, in the front of the vehicle that covers the front and second row occupants and then people in the third row have got their own sunroof and so they can open a sliding cover and look up and see the sky the whole moon roof has got led lights in it so at night it looks like you're looking out at the stars at all times it's 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 a neat suv so it's is it worth one hundred fifty six thousand? probably not but Boy, it would be fun for a little while. So let me ask you this. Um, uh, one of the things I was wondering, just because it's so big, um, I mean, it is a good size SUV. Does it have enough torque to really get it moving? Oh, buddy, does it ever. It really does. Those twin turbos kick in real early. And as soon as they do, you feel it. And it'll just pin you to the seat. Um, this thing is all-wheel drive, so it gets really good traction. Uh, when I shot video with it yesterday, I did some really hard, fast takeoffs with it from a dead stop, and you get a real sense of what this thing is all about and what it's supposed to do. Uh, with 612 horses, it should do that. Uh, but but really, really nice, really, really nice SUV. Probably nothing I would personally buy, but uh, and they're only making 700 of them this entire year, so... Mm-hmm. It's not like you're going to see yourself at a red light, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah that sounds uh, right. What's yeah. going on on CarPro USA today? Got a good story that people really need to read, especially this time of year. Um, I don't know if any, either of you have ever experienced what happens when mice nest in your car. But, I, I've got friends that do. We we got you know we got a lot of people that live out in the country here, and uh, they got the 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 mice. What what is it? The uh, field mice and the 
Yeah. Yeah, and boy, they get up in there, and for whatever reason, they love to chew wiring. Yeah, they eat like it, it doesn't make any sense to me. They don't. Well, they, surely they don't eat well, it. My daughter has two cats that love to do that. Yeah, wiring, car wiring. Most of them have a soybean based uh, cover over the wires to keep them from rubbing together. Of course, ah. but for some reason, the, the mice just love that. So I've got an article telling you what to do if you get if you find yourself in i've seen cars totaled out uh from mice uh, literally because the cost of all the rewiring of there's over a mile of wiring in a car and boy they get in there and they chew that stuff up and then suddenly your car won't start uh you know nothing works and you've got to get a whole wiring harness from the factory, which isn't which isn't cheap, but it's cheaper than the labor to to completely rewire a car. It's it's really intensive and very very expensive. So I've got that story there for you. Uh, it's a good one to read. So if you if, if you drive your car, uh, in other words, you you take it uh, and drive it on a regular basis, are they going to nest in that, or is it just the ones that sit for a while? No, they can. They can. They can get in two or three of them at a time. Usually, is what we see. Uh, get in there to get and just start eating. And I'll be tell you, it doesn't take very long for them to chew through wires completely. Mm-hmm. And it's a it's a real mess. I, again, I've seen cars totaled uh, out completely because it was so expensive to get them redone. We've got some uh, new product information up on the website, Dave, in answer to your question. You can now order the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer, which is a new large, oh, it's kind of a suburban expedition fighter, if you will. Uh, So that's going to be exciting to see those when those finally do come out. And then uh, for pickup drivers, the 2022 f 250 F350s, uh, we've got information on that because they're doing a lot of updates on that truck when it comes out this summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot well, going on. Yep, there is. Well, Always. I just want to remind everybody that uh, you are on uh, this station, KFYO, every Saturday from 11 to 1 yep. and uh, with the Car Pro Show. And I, I listen frequently. It's a little entertaining, and you get a lot of good information. Well, thank you, fellas. I enjoy being with uh, the, your folks that listen to you guys every day and uh, really starting to get a lot of love of callers calling into the show. So we're tickled about that, too. Yeah, and I love to hear that. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Jerry. You have a great day, and we'll talk to Y'all you again too. here in a week. Yes, sir. Y'all right. take care. You too. Bye. We'll be right back.